close. So I haven't been on for a little while. Um, been quite busy recently, but I've been on, I'm just on the Plymouth save. You know, don't spend a penny. Um, only buy free players and known players and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd just give you a quick update. I said I'm now halfway through the season, so as you can see, I'm on deadline day in January. In January, so just show you what's been happening. So at the moment, I'm currently seventh in the Premier League. So season in the Premier League is not going too bad. Um, we're doing okay. As I said we're just beyond the bank, probably the top big six, apart from Chelsea, who are there. You know, so you can probably include Newcastle now because all the money they've got. Um, well, seventh place for us is really good. I say, not too far away. We've got a nice little four point cushion over West Ham, we're eighth as well. And they've got a massive game against Liverpool. Um, they're just above us. Um, but yeah, overall, we're doing okay. If we look at the schedule, um, I, I seem to have. A good period where I do quite well, and then I have a couple of bad results, and that kind of scuppers the season a little bit. Um, I'm really sorry, guys. The life was going a bit slow. Um, as you can see, I, I have like some good like win and win runs and undefeated, and then I get back to back defeats. I had a crazy result against Man City, lost five one at home, poor result, and then come back and then win two games in a row again. Um, and then, yeah, so some bad results. I know some hard teams and stuff. Tottenham, Liverpool, Tottenham were champions last season. And then we just got hammered by Liverpool. No one turned up in that match. Um, and then we got good weeks, good away. We pointed against Leicester. And then they've now thrashed with um, Norwich, my team. Um, and let's getting a couple of goals. And everybody played quite well that game. Um, but as you can see, this next run in February is going to be very, very tough. Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City. All in that month. Um, and then got quite a busy, busy month in March as well. Um, that's because we're in the Euro Cup or Europa League second round knockout. Um, we had a good run in that. Um, just look at the stages. Um, group stage. Where are we? We finished top. Um, after six matches, four wins, one draw, one defeat. Um. So we had a really good run in that, finished top. So hopefully we get an easier, easier tie in this match, in this, in this competition. Um, yeah. So if we look at the squad, how the squad's getting on, how's it looking? Um, it's not too bad. I'm just a bit disappointed. It's really slow. Um, yeah. Um, top goal scorer is Jude Sunset Bell again. Twenty five goals, four assists. He's been our star player for the last two or three seasons, to be fair. He's not even our player. But I'm, I'm going to try and get him on loan again if I can, because I don't know whether Chelsea will play him or not. But if you look at his history, and you see the seasons he's had, he's just got better and better every season. Um, yeah, so like this season, 15 goals in the Premier League in 23 matches. It's very, very good. Um, so last season he got 16 overall, got 26 with all the competitions as well. Um, yeah, so it was brilliant. Um, another player who's playing well is my German international. He's now four time German international, 12 caps. Um, improving all the time, very, very good. Um, playing really well for us. So he's probably one of the best players I've got at the club. I have now. Signed a new defensive midfielder on loan, and I'm now trying to sign him on a permanent permanent deal because contract expires. Um, so he's played nine games with, with Dortmund this season, um, and wasn't getting much of a look in. But if you look at his stats, he's actually very, very good in all departments. Good technique, and very strong in mentals and physicals. So, and he will improve as well. Um, so he's worth a bit of money as well. Um, so he's come in to challenge Morton as a defence midfielder role. Um, I'm going to be looking for a new goalkeeper. Um, even though Jack Butler has been brilliant for me, um, he's now starting to.
drop off um, and his form is not as good as it was. Um, but I think I need, I need to get a new younger goalkeeper. So that's what I'm going to be looking at in the summer, hopefully. Um, I'll let a couple of, couple of players go out on loan as well to go off the transfers. Just quickly show you that. Um, so yeah, you can see I've only brought one player in this this month, and then I've let go. Um, Cologne's going to Queens Park Lane. Rangers on loan. Isaac Smith is really very very good potential. He's gone on loan. Um, person I signed from Liverpool. Yeah, haven't been able to get a work permit for him, which is really frustrating because I think he will turn into a good player. Um, so I loaned him out to get some points to get his work permit. Uh, sold Elliot Marr to Watford. Um, he wasn't a bad player. Good. So he was a quad player at best. Um, but I let him go just to get some money in. I don't even know I don't really need the money, to be fair. Um, James McAtee wasn't getting a lot of game time for me, so I was loaned him out to, to Wolves, who are top of the league and the championship. So hopefully he can get some more game time and get some good minutes going. And I've let Luke Dray leave as well. He was my club captain, but he wasn't getting, say, if you look at the last uh, couple of seasons, not getting much game time. Um, so we probably looked at moving mine in the summer as well. Look at the club info. Um, everything's improving. We're doing quite well. Truck junior coaching is very good now. Home park. Um, it's now 28 players on 188. Um, under sort heating, so that's improved immensely. So we're getting, we're getting good crowds now. Um, yeah, so really pleased with that. Um, we look at the finances of the club. We've got lots of money, 160 million. I say transfer budget 107, which I can't use, but we're still nowhere near spending the wage budget. So the last transfer window, there wasn't that many people who were going to come in and improve the squad. So that's the reason why this hasn't really changed. Um, I can't remember my last video if I told you who my new assistant manager was, but I'll just share again, just in case I haven't. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's now my assistant manager to replace um, Steven Gerrard. Uh, he's, some of his stats have gone up already. He's, he hasn't been with the club that long, but yeah, he's very, very good. So he's now come in as my assistant manager. And um, yeah, we look quite strong at the department, to be fair. A lot of old international players and uh, very good coaches. So yeah, so that's where we're at with the Plymouth save. Uh, so if you've got any, got any questions, guys, don't forget to, um, to leave, leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So yeah, cheers, guys.